So, <laughs> as far as DJ, is it mostly weddings or is there other events that you end up DJing? DJing. Oh my God, I've did so many weddings. So many. <laughs> Do you just have tux at home that you don't you don't rent anymore? You just bought a tux to wear? No, actually, if I need a tux, I just rent it. It just uh, oh. it just doesn't make sense to buy one because it, it's you wear them so infrequently. Even so, let me let me put it to you like this: a lot of weddings that I do, I, oh, you talk about the difference between, between white and black weddings. Yeah, I really want to know that. Yeah, we a lot of black weddings. We don't wear tuxes. No. Oh, really? <laughs> wow, that's surprising. A little more you know, informal, you, I guess. You, 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 uh, you, of course, you're gonna dress nice and everything, but nobody expects you to wear a tux at a black wedding. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> wow. A lot, a lot of the uh, the uh, traditional things that you do at a at a wedding reception don't happen at a black wedding reception. <laughs> oh, really? A lot of times because the people uh, the the uh the the wedding started late, so the bridal party is coming in late. <laughs> you know what I mean? I believe he's referring to call, what's called C P time. Yeah. <laughs> I believe that's the term. He's trying to be politically yes. correct. <laughs> I've I've heard this term banty to bows. I don't personally know anything about it, but yeah. So. Well, I've I've lived it. Yes. Yeah. So what's your number one hated song that you gotta play at all these stupid weddings all the time? Oh my god. I don't I don't have a song that I to truly hate because anything I truly hate I just don't play. <laughs> there you go. I didn't is bring it, that is one. It the did, chicken yeah. dance? Is it the chicken dance? No, it's the kidding? hustle, man. He's doing. I love the chicken dance. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, look. Anything that's gonna make a DJ's life easier, you're gonna have on rotation. Oh, oh, you know okay. what I mean? <laughs> so the the the, when, the ones where everyone gets up and dances along to the thing is your yes. Favorite. You want the you want the songs that everybody likes, everybody that can, that that can relate to. You know what I mean? And you can just kind of check out and like let them do whatever. Yeah, exactly. They're. You just you go go down your playlist. You know you uh, play those traditional songs and just let let everybody have fun. You have to know how to how to uh, read a crowd when it comes to music, though. You know what I mean? Because certain people like certain type of music. Of course, you're not going to be at a wedding reception playing a bunch of gangster rap. You know what I mean? <laughs> Your cool ass wedding. Huh? <laughs> so, yeah. it, Spin it one more time. <laughs> it'll be a short one because the bride and groom be like. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, what's the biggest screw up at a wedding that you've witnessed? Like, for example, they announced my mom at my wedding, and it was like, eh, it's kind of a weird thing. You know, the biggest screw up that I ever uh, witnessed at a wedding. At, at a wedding reception, I should say, oh. was it was matter of fact, it was. I don't mean to be out of line, but this was a, a, a white wedding, okay. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. and the uh, <laughs> the mother of the bride got drunk and tried to fight <laughs> the uh, the uh, the the uh, white the, the the bride's best friend. Or like wow. at Fist the reception, cups and got real fisticuffs. <laughs> wow, dude! I was, I was, I was sitting there, and then all of a sudden, a big cat fight just broke out. I'm like, oh! Did you needle scratch God. it? Be honest, we like. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you know when it when it started off, like you know, once it started, uh, I started packing up. Yeah. <laughs> you knew it was gonna be. I don't need you. I got like uh, four or five thousand dollars worth of DJ equipment. I don't need you tearing it up. Yeah. <laughs> Once that Some happens, it comes barreling. The in party the is yeah. over, as far as I'm concerned. That's in my contract. Oh, yes, wow. it is. There you go. Wow. So, what kind of a? Well, one thing I have a trouble doing is staying up on new music. And you're 48. I'm 43. The only reason I stay up on some of it is because my 14-year-old daughter. How do you stay up on some of the new music that you need to stay on for being a DJ? Okay. Uh, there are online uh, DJ pools that you can use, like BPM Supreme. The one I'm uh, registered with is MyMP3Pool.com. There are, you go on there, and they, they uh, literally update every week. So you have all the latest stuff. They, you pay like 20, 25 bucks a month. Oh, it's subscription based? Yes. So you're yes. just downloading and this you crap. Download you're not having to purchase everything anything. you need. That's right. Oh. That's, that's how yeah, you do that's it. That's real smart. Don't even have and, to stay up top on anything. And let me tell you, as far as the new music, as far as the mobile rap is concerned, I 
hate it. You don't like Post Malone? <laughs> I'm a rock star. <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> what in the hell are you? <laughs> Showing but your it's age, cool. Showing it's your age, it's not so old bad. school DJing where you're bringing like milk crates full of you know records and you're basically you know, laptop and that's him, how right? I start. That's how I started. As a matter of fact, I got a story about that. I had, I, had a, I was DJing at a place on the east side, and it was me and a partner of mine. And it was back when I had my twelve hundreds, you know, six crates of records and whatnot. Wow. <laughs> so we get done. We we're doing it with another guy. He's been a, a, another guy. He's been on the radio. A guy by the name of DJ Bass. Okay. You know, he's been on like uh, I think over one hundred five point nine or something like that. And uh, so he shows up, and all he has is a laptop, and is and is a. And it's uh, like, where's your six crates at, yeah. man? <laughs> now it was cool, and you know, I checked it out while he was playing and everything, everything, and it was cool. But what really changed me to the digital DJing is when the night was over and it was time to pack everything up, and we're there struggling with six crates of records and everything <laughs> else. And he just click, click, click. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes, he was out. <laughs> exactly. That changed the game for me forever. <laughs> so, what, what what is the uh, laptop laptop of choice that you're using for DJ? I'm using a Dell Inspiron, believe it or not. Not a Mac. A, lo- a lot of people wrong. use a Mac. I'm just cheap as hell. I guess. I <laughs> <laughs> Got it on sale Black Friday at Best Buy. <laughs> yeah. And you bring your own speakers and all that. Yes, I How have a power. Those? I have a power system. Uh, uh, how much are the speakers? Yeah. Just in general, what yeah. do you, you said about five grand in equipment, right? That's true. Yeah. That's wow. true. I use a, a new Mark NS7, brand new, uh, a brand new NS7 to cost you at least fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Wow. DJ equipment is really, really expensive. Uh, the last time I outfitted my whole my whole, whole outfit with new speakers, amplifiers, the whole hookup cost me about five grand. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. And now, how many gigs is it taking for you to to recoup that? Oh, back when I did that, I was actually running a, a DJ business out of the house. So it took me about a year or two to recoup. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. So it's some, some investment right there. <laughs> but you know what? If it's what you like to do, it doesn't feel like work. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because once you're there and you're in the groove and everybody's having a good time, you're, it, it, it's nothing like it. Because and, and then until you turn around, you go there. You eat for free, you drink for free, you party like hell, and you get paid to do it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's not that bad a gig. That's a lot of masta chili, though. <laughs> a lot of Bring dry, it on. <laughs> dry baked chicken all over the game. What, what are some of the weirder events you've had to DJ? I was affiliated with a couple of uh, uh, with a couple of rap groups back in the day, and the weirdest place, one of the weirdest places I ever played, uh, we were uh, doing a promo for an event. Was a rap group I was, and uh, I was set up inside of. I was on. I never forget. It. I was a uh, deep southwest side. I was set up in a Save a Lot supermarket. <laughs> nice. A Save a Lot supermarket. What aisle were you in? Like the macaroni <laughs> or no, dry I goods? Was, <laughs> I was by the bagging section, <laughs> just at the front of the store. Oh, and the clerks were digging it. They were like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> <laughs> it must have been a weird day. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> it was a weird day because when 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 I asked the guy, I was like, "Well, where am I playing at?" He was like, "At at uh at Save a Lot, like Save a Lot." So we're going to be outside, say, like, okay, cool. No, we're going to be inside. Seriously. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but that's not the strangest place I've played. Okay. The strangest place I played was, it was for, uh, what's that, uh, after the funeral? The wake? The uh, I actually played one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say about that. Flip one, me huh? out. I'll be Flip honest. What kind you. of music do you play uh, at that yeah, one? What are you want to get together for the chicken dance? What? <laughs> no, I was playing. Uh, no, I don't. I don't even remember what type of music I was playing. I was a lot of Luther Vandross. Yes. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but some depressing stuff. But by far the strangest. Man, it's getting worse <laughs> than a funeral. Oh yeah, I've, I've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> it, it, this was stranger than a funeral. The strangest gig I ever played was in Sterling Heights at a church on New Year's Eve. Wait, what? And, yes. And they had they had a full spread of uh, food and a full spread of liquor. At a, at inside, a church. The church. inside the church. It's like, oh. what? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of church was it? 
uh, Catholic, I'm, Baptist, I'm guessing Episcopalian. It was, I'm guessing it was a, a Baptist church. Satanism. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, oh my God. <laughs> so there you go. Save a 